Ow! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an updated lemming list for you. Um, I have managed to cross four lemmings off of my lemming list, um, so I figured it was kind of time to do a little bit of an update. I'll link my original lemming list video in the description bar uh, for you to go check out if you never saw that video. But out of the 10 polishes that I mentioned, I have four of them in my collection now. So I'm going to show you the polishes that I've knocked off my lemming list. They're no longer there because I have them in my collection. And then I'm going to talk about some more polishes that I've now added to my lemming list since making that original video. So the first polish I'm going to mention is Penny Talk. This is the first one that I managed to cross off my lemming list. This is a beautiful rose gold. It's a metallic finish, so it does show every single flaw in your nails which is kind of a bit of a disappointment, but nevertheless is a beautiful polish. This I managed to find, I found this out later on that it is still in the core line and I felt like kind of an idiot after posting that video, but I'm glad to have it in my collection. The second polish that I picked up myself was Mermaid's Tear. I managed to find this on eBay for a reasonable price and um, bit the bullet and decided to pick it up. I'm so happy to have this in my collection finally because it has been on my lemming list for years. So having this in my collection just makes me very happy that I finally have it. Absolutely beautiful polish. I love it. If you can get your hands on it, I do recommend it. It's very, very beautiful. Um, if, you like your if you're like me and you like dusty polishes, you will love this polish. I know. Polishes with that dusty quality just get me and I have to have them. <laughs> so this is um, Mermaid's Tear from OPI. The next polish I have managed to cross off my lambing list is Zombie Zest. This is all thanks to one of my subscribers here on YouTube. Uh, she reached out to me and says, hi, I have uh, an extra bottle of Zombie Zest that I'd like to send you. And um, she sent it to me very, very, very nicely. And I couldn't believe it when this finally showed up in my mailbox that I actually have it in my hands. So this is one of those ugly pretty colors. Um, it's like a murky green, but it does have like a like a, a teal flash to it. Can you see that? Like blue teal flash. Camera's not really focusing. Let's see if we can get it to focus. There's... It's a beautiful polish. I haven't worn it yet. Unfortunately, it's not really the time of year to wear this type of polish. Um, but I'm happy to have it in my collection. I'm gonna wear this come Halloween for sure because I have been dying to have it in my collection for so long. So if you can get your hands on Zombie's Ass, again, it's very hard to find, I know that. But if you can get your hands on it, pick it up. And again, thank you so much, Tracy, for sending this to me. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm just so thankful to have it in my collection. And very, very recently, uh, Debbie sent me Shine of the Times for my birthday. And this is a beautiful topper that just has so many different colors going on in it. It's absolutely beautiful. So pretty. I really can't wait uh, to try this over other colors. So far I've only tried it over one, one color and it was absolutely beautiful. I just can't wait to try it over different colors. With this little like orangey flash that kind of goes on in here too, I think it might be pretty uh, in the fall time as well. You know what? It's probably gorgeous over every color, but that's that's one of the colors I plan on trying it over. It's like a red, like a terracotta type color. I think I'm gonna try it over that and see what, see what happens. I think it will be very pretty. So this is uh, Shine of the Times from Essie. Since knocking those polishes off of my lemming list, there are uh, more polishes that I'm gonna add to my lemming list. Uh, I actually have 11 more polishes that I've got written down here um, that I am adding to my lemming list because I want to get them so badly. I'm going to start off with some simple colors. Now simple colors, we finally have the core line here in Canada, which is great. It's amazing. I'm really loving that I can actually get my hands on some of these polishes. The problem is we still can't get any of these special edition collections that are, are popping up in the States, which is disappointing because some of them are very, very beautiful. So. The four simple colors I have listed on here are all special edition um, simple colors that I have not been able to find here in Canada, and I don't know if I ever will, so that's why they're on this lemming list. 
The first one is Blueberry Hot Rod, which was from the Candy Johnson collection. It looks like a lovely, like a mid-toned blue color. It looks very, very pretty. I really want to get my hands on it. Our second one is Besos for Pesos, which I saw on Debbie's channel. She had swatched it, and it looks like a beautiful, beautiful springy pink that I think I would look would look very nice on my skin tone. So again, it's one of those special edition polishes we can't get here. Our third one is Royo Your Boat, which is lovely, like a primary red color. And from swatch videos I saw, it just looked to have a beautiful formula. So. That's another reason that I'd like that one. And the last one from Sinful Colors is Fool for Azul, which is a lovely blue. And you guys know how much I love my blues. If I could manage to find these polishes in Canada, I would be really happy. But I may have to take a trip over to Buffalo, unfortunately. In my birthday package from Debbie, she sent me a couple of Julie G's, which was amazing because she knocked off, I think, two or three of the um, Julie G's that I really, really wanted. There are still two that are on my... Um, loving list that I really want to get my hands on. First one is OMG. Beautiful, hot, neon color that just uh, speaks to me. Um, the second one is called Mermaid's Tail, which is, it kind of looks like a mermaid's tail. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, it just it's gorgeous. I want to get my hands on that one too. Again, a trip down to Buffalo maybe in my cards to get that one too because um, they're only sold at Rite Aid and we don't have Rite Aids here in Canada so I need to go down there. I have two more OPIs on my list. Uh, first one is called What's With The Catitude. It came out in the Shrek collection. It's another blue. You guys know how much I love my blues. Um, it just is one of those tones of blue that just speak to me and I have to have it in my collection. And the last OPI is Golden Eye, which came out in the James Bond collection. It's like a gold foil type nail polish. There's just something about this polish. Just it just I need it. I don't know what it is, but I need it in my collection. Um, it was available for the longest time on Sparkle Canada, and then when I went to actually order it, it was out of stock. So I should have jumped on it earlier. I've done that a couple of times with Sparkle Canada because they have older stock. If you wait too long you're done. You're out of luck. So uh, hopefully I can get my hands on that one, one that one one day. There are three indies that I would really like to get my hands on, but uh, one of them definitely is not available at all, and the other two are very hard for me to get my hands on because they're Cadillacers, and I don't think we can even get those in, in uh, I don't think we can even get those in the States anymore. I know I can't get them in Canada for sure, so um, I am a huge Game of Thrones fan, if you can't tell from my shirt. Um, so I really would like to get my hands on some of the uh, Game of Thrones collection from uh, Cadillacer. Uh, specifically, um, a dragon is on a slave. My God, that's polish. It's like a, it's got a duochrome in it and the holographic. Beautiful. I just, oh my goodness, I want that polish so much. And um, the other one is Nothing Burns Like the Cold. It's like an icy blue with a holographic on it. Oh, beautiful, beautiful polish. Those are the two that I would really like to get my hands on from that collection. If I could get my hands on anything else from that collection, I could just get those two. I would be so happy. And the last polish on my lemming list is from Fair Maiden Polish. And I think my chances of getting my, my hands on this nail polish are slim to none um, because it was in the Polish Con VIP bag, so it was an exclusive. And yeah, I don't think I'm ever getting my hands on it. It was called Lady Liberty, and it's it's. I think of Lady, uh, the the Statue of Liberty. It's that um, greeny color with um, gold flecks in it. Uh, it's just a beautiful polish and. New York City is one of my favorite places in the world. Um, if I had the opportunity to live there, I'd move there in a second. Um, but this polish is absolutely stunning and I just know there's no chance in hell I'm ever gonna get my hands on it because it was so limited edition because it was in that VIP bag. So that one is probably never gonna come off my landing list, but I'm putting it there because I really, really would like to get my hands on it. 
Anyway, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your lemmings are in the in the um, just in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you guys would really like to get your hands on because then I may have to add it to my list too. Because that's just you know hoarder problems. That's why we're all here, right? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon.